I'm going to show you how to airbrush lips. We have multiple stencils that you can use and we're just going to use the edges. This will actually help to define the lips, especially if you have any scars or if you don't want that lipstick to bleed. It helps keep the airbrush lips in place. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. First we're going to mix the color. We have Vanity, which is from the Dynair Colair line and it has shimmer. Very high pigmented color. Love this color. You're going to love it. And we have Peach Pink, and this is actually in the blush line of the Diner Glamour series. And this is more of a matte, but we want to mix the two and see what we come up with, okay? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take the airbrush, turn the compressor on, take our Peach Pink, and just a couple drops, goes a very long way, of course. One, two, and we'll take a couple drops of the Colaire Vanity. We're going to mix that up. And just a couple of drops. And I'm going to show you how to mix these. We're just going to take a regular tissue, block off the front of the airflow on the airbrush, and if you pull back on the lever, it's going to create little bubbles inside the cup. And once those bubbles form, you can either just pop it and then spray into a tissue. Or they're not going to, they're just going to stay bubbly. So now we're going to airbrush lips. And I've just chosen the shape that I like out of, I think they offer three shapes. So we're going to use this one. And if I lay the stencil down hard, you're going to get a hard edge. If I create distance, it's going to be more diffused and soft. So with the lips, of course, it's nice to have a little bit of definition. We don't want to look like we just had a red snow cone. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and re just relax your lips. This is really easy for you to do at home. And I just use the stencil. Now when you get up into the inner part of the lip, if you do tend to have uh, deeper lines in your lip, just kind of give, make a little face go. There you go. <laughs> and then that is going to allow those little lines to open up so you can airbrush right inside them. Now the airbrush makeup is going to be matte and that's going to be matte until I add the Moist and Dewy which is a moisturizer and that will add that gloss to it. So it's kind of cool you get to decide if you want matte or or if you want a glossy look with the airbrush because you can do both. So again I'm just going to use the edges and move them around. and just allow it to dry. It's pretty. And of course when you're doing such a dramatic smoky eye, you really, really want to keep the lips nice and natural because we don't want to overdo it. <laughs> so we're just going to use the lip stencil again and we're going to move it around for the top part. And again, distance is very important. We don't want to be too far away or you're going to get overspray all over. So we want to get right in. And I'm letting the stencil do the work for me. I don't need to go in and draw with it. I want the stencil to do the work. So spray the stencil even and let the overspray fall down onto the lips. And that's how easy lips are. Now you can even add a little bit of shimmer just by itself right into the center of the lips and that gives it that nice pouty look. So we'll just add a drop of the vanity by itself. And we'll just add that to the middle here. And it'll give a nice little pouty look. And then next I'm going to add some moist and dewy and this is what gives it that glossy effect. Just one drop, that's all you need. And we just spray it, spray it lightly. I also want to use the lip stencil for this because I don't want the moisturizer to go around the lips. We really want to focus on the lipstick itself. So just spray it in and you're going to see right instantly that you have that sheen. That's pretty cool. And you can use that moisturizer anywhere on the face if they're dry as well. And that's how you airbrush lips with a dramatic eye by keeping it super, super natural. And I hope this helped.